There exists a place at the far edge of our solar system, a realm so distant, so silent, that it feels more like myth than reality. Drifting through this remote expanse is a spacecraft launched nearly five decades ago. Its name, Voyager 2. Alongside its twin, Voyager 1, it was sent to explore the outer planets and then continue on into the unknown. And for years, it did exactly that, delivering stunning images and groundbreaking data from Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Then, it faded into the background of deep space exploration, continuing its lonely journey into the void. But recently, something unexpected occurred. A transmission, barely detectable, emerged from the vast distance. Weak, but organized. This signal didn't resemble ordinary background noise. It had rhythm. It had pattern. And it came from Voyager 2. It all started during a routine procedure. Engineers on Earth sent a command to reorient the spacecraft's antenna. Everything appeared normal, until Voyager 2 suddenly veered just enough to lose contact with Earth. A silence followed. Not a brief dropout, but a full communication blackout. Then came the surprise. A signal re-emerged. It wasn't a full data stream, just fragments, but it was unmistakably structured. Not random static, not a garbled error. Something deliberate. Something odd. At first, experts believed the probe's old electronics were finally breaking down. After all, Voyager 2 has been operating for more than 47 years, over 19 billion kilometers from home. Its systems are primitive by today's standards. Communications take over 18 hours each way. But when the signal was studied more closely using digital filters and advanced analysis, things became stranger. Within the signal was a peculiar modulation, subtle, but clearly not part of the original systems. It was as if the transmission had been altered or reflected by something else. Some suggested cosmic rays or electromagnetic interference. Others weren't convinced. A theory began to gain traction. What if Voyager's signal had bounced off something? Not just dust or gas, but a structure. Perhaps even something artificial. Dubbed the mirror theory, the idea suggests the signal was echoed back by an unknown object possibly designed to reflect and embed new information into incoming transmissions. Like a cosmic feedback loop, it returned Voyager's message, distorted, but carrying a strange signature. NASA dismissed the idea. They pointed to possible hardware errors or radiation effects. But outside official statements, many independent researchers began exploring a more startling possibility. Because something else didn't add up. Voyager 2's internal data logs didn't match what engineers observed from Earth. It's as if something had tampered with the spacecraft's memory. And for a machine built with barely 68 kilobytes of storage, running on hand-coded software from the 1970s, such a change should be impossible, unless an unknown force had somehow interacted with it. Could this be evidence of a new kind of physics? Quantum interference? A deep space phenomenon we've never encountered? Or, was it something else entirely? One of the most unsettling findings came when researchers ran the signal through a language pattern recognition model, not expecting results. But what they found startled them. There were traits in the signal resembling human communication. Repetition, rhythm, pauses. Not a language exactly, but not noise either. Something that hinted at intention. Then, Voyager transmitted a second burst. Nearly identical to the first, except reversed. This has led some to suggest that Voyager the second of may now be more than just a relic of exploration, more than a scientific instrument drifting through the void. It may have crossed an unseen threshold, becoming part of something much larger, much stranger. A network we have yet to detect, much less understand. A network that doesn't announce itself with flashing beacons or decipherable code, but through subtle patterns, echoes, and anomalies that hint at its presence. And if that's true, if Voyager is now interacting with this hidden structure, what does it truly mean? Could it be that we've already begun a dialogue, not with a voice we recognize, but with a system that responds not in language, but in modulation? In frequency? In quiet, 
calculated pulses that only the keenest instruments and sharpest minds can interpret? The implications are staggering. If Voyager 2 is engaged in some form of communication, whether intentional or not, it reshapes our entire understanding of space. No longer is the vast gulf between stars merely a cold, silent expanse. It becomes an active medium. A reactive arena. A place where signals don't simply disappear, but are intercepted, altered, and returned, carrying messages encoded not in speech, but in pattern. For more than 40 years, Voyager has carried with it the golden record, a copper disc inscribed with the music, languages, and images of Earth. A message crafted with hope and humility. A digital time capsule meant for any intelligence that might one day find it. What if that message has now been received? What if, in the remote darkness beyond Neptune, something has listened? And if that's the case, the question becomes urgent, what comes next? Are we prepared, not just for contact, but for something deeper, more disorienting? An exchange with an intelligence or system that doesn't think like we do, doesn't communicate in ways we can easily decode? A consciousness, or perhaps an awareness, that perceives time, information, and even reality differently? Are we ready to accept that Voyager might not be the end of a signal chain, but the beginning of one? Despite NASA's insistence on rational explanations, hardware errors, signal drift, solar interference, many in the scientific community remain quietly unsettled. Something in the transmission doesn't line up. The structure is too specific. The modulation too deliberate. There is a feeling, in spoken but persistent, that we are standing at the edge of something unprecedented. Something that feels like a question posed by the universe itself. Voyager 2, now billions of kilometers from Earth, may have entered a new kind of space, not defined by gravity or planets, but by phenomena we've never mapped. A place where human logic begins to unravel. Where machines are no longer just tools, but participants in a much older, much larger conversation. It is possible, just possible, that Voyager has encountered a kind of intelligence embedded in space itself. Not a civilization in the conventional sense, but an awareness, spread across light years, woven into the very structure of space-time. Something ancient. Something waiting. And maybe that's what the signal is, a knock on the door we didn't know we had opened. A whisper in reply to our long-forgotten greeting. In this interpretation, Voyager is no longer a machine lost to the stars. It is a messenger. An envoy. A bridge. And now, we must decide whether we're willing to cross it. Because if the universe is speaking, softly, cryptically, it means it has been listening. And perhaps it always was. The silence we once feared may never have been silence at all. We just hadn't learned how